I've got some questions recently about knee pain when cycling. And this is actually a question that's near and dear to my heart. In 2001, this was a couple years after I had my knee surgery, I rode a bicycle across the country. So I had this experience of cycling day in and day out and what was presenting itself as far as the pain I was feeling in my knees. And there's a couple aspects to it and they all kind of play in with one another. Uh, one is that it really made a big difference when I had my feet attached to the pedals. Now that can look like toe clips or clipless pedals. Uh, people that are into cycling more, you go into a cycling store, they're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. So talk about um, toe clips or clipless pedals. But essentially what it does is it attaches your feet to the pedal. So when you're cycling, when you're pedaling, instead of your foot pushing down each time you make a revolution, you're able to pull up on one and push down with the other. This distributes the load between both knees. So you're not using all of the force on one knee at, at a time. And it also develops all of the muscles in the legs to make a, a, a circle. You're essentially, the goal is to make a circle when you pedal, not just push down. So that is a big piece that I learned in my own trip across the country that you want to make circles when you're pedaling. Another piece is the revolutions per minute or the cadence as it's sometimes referred to as the amount of times you pedal in a minute. And generally the cadence wants to be 80 to 100 revolutions per minute. The reason being is if it's too slow if the cadence is too slow, you're having to make your knees work too hard and press too much when you're pushing down. And that can strain the tendons and ligaments in the knee joint. So you want to keep the cadence up high, which would also mean that you want to shift your gears appropriately to keep the cadence at the right level. So if you're going up a hill or down a hill or on flat surfaces, maintaining the cadence is going to be more important to keeping your knees out of knee pain and keeping the knee joint balanced than it is, you know, to what they call like um, uh, mashing the gears where they're really kind of pushing down hard. Another thing you want to look into and this is one of your local bike stores can help you with, is the seat height and the, um, the distance the seat is from the handlebars. That depending on that angle, you can have too much pressure on the knee joint. All of those are going to play a role in the amount of pressure your knee has to push every time you cycle, every time you make a revolution. Now, when I'm talking about this topic, uh, it sounds like I'm talking about just road bikes. However, it applies to stationary bikes, trainers, if you're in a spinning class, anytime you're doing that type of motion where you're spinning your legs, where you're rotating your legs that way, it's important to make sure that your feet are attached to the pedals and that the cadence is up high and you have the right distance with your handlebars and your seat height and all of that is dialed in so you're optimizing how your body functions on that bicycle and minimizing the experience of pain in your knees.